I love you too. So folks, it turns out the thing about hurricanes is that sparrows can do very little about them. But you know, I have had such a terrific opportunity to serve the, con the Commonwealth I so much love over almost more than a decade, which is considering something because I'm 40. And folks, I will say this from the outset. I hope at 40 that my best days are not behind me. Defeat is never easy, folks, but it's something, candidly, I've become accustomed to because the, where I come from, if anybody had predicted that I would ever get the opportunity to be chief of staff to an outstanding governor, Steve Bashir, much less represent the people of Kentucky for four years as I've had the opportunity to do so as their taxpayer watchdog, folks, it's not sadness that dominates me tonight, it's appreciation. I want to thank you and all the people of Kentucky for having had the opportunity to serve. And for me and Melissa, my beautiful wife, I want to say that for me it's back to the private sector and a lot more coaching Little League. So don't feel bad for me. And I want to congratulate all the people who worked so hard, both in this election and the last one, to make sure that we had an outcome that we wanted. And I also want to congratulate Representative Mike Harmon. You know, Mike came into this the underdog, and we did our best to keep him that way, but in this environment, it just wasn't enough. And earlier this evening, I pledged to Mike that we would do all we needed to do to make sure that the transition in the auditor's office was as smooth as it could possibly be to guarantee that we could make sure that Kentucky's Office of the State Auditor remains the first and greatest line of defense for the taxpayers of Kentucky. But let me say this, as in love and life and politics, timing is everything. And for those who believe that our party, that our world view, that somehow, of course, all people should be treated equally. Of course, all children ought to have a world-class income and a world-class education opportunity in the communities they've come up in. Of course, everybody deserves a shot at the American dream, regardless of who you are the color of your skin, your gender, or what side of the tracks you're from. Folks, no matter how out of fashion those ideals may have been this election, we will have our day. We will be back. So for all of you who are downhearted, for all of you who believe that losing election is a very bad thing, folks, I can tell you losing a job or losing insurance or losing a family member is far more important in the grand scheme of things. So let's make sure that we keep our perspective. Let's make sure that we keep our eyes on the prize, because for all of us who believe that Kentucky ought to be that which it ought to be, a place of unlimited potential, our best days lie ahead. And my hope and my prayer is that I have the opportunity in some small way to continue to serve the people of Kentucky. I look forward to doing that for the next several years. I look forward to doing that from the private sector and the Little League field. But folks, let's not get down, let's not forget what we're about, and let's make sure that we continue to fight for the people of Kentucky. Thank all of you. Thank you very much.